So the application uh, by way of notice of motion dated 10th of February 2020 seeks for the court to issue custodial orders that the respondent be detained for 21 days at Kilimani Police Station in Nairobi to allow Corporal Noah Kiplagat to investigate the case uh, of assaults causing actual bodily harm contrary to section 251 of the penal code that was reported at Kilimani Police Station right open number 32 of 02 02 of 2020 that the respondents, uh, not being Kenyan citizens, engaged in business without being authorized by a work permit control to Section 53.1, as read with Section 53.2 of the Kenyan Citizenship and Immigration Act. So the application was premised on various grounds stated in the application, among them that being that the police were alarmed by a video clip circulating in the social media and visited the premises where the first respondent who assaulted the complainant was working as a chef and on visitors passed. The respondent is also on a holiday visa which expired in December 2019. He is on holiday visa which expired in November 2019. And the fourth respondent was on holiday visa, which is invalid and was not allowed to work in the country. That the investigator is here to trace the complainant and to record his statement as he was dismissed and moved to his home. Further, it was submitted that uh, investigation is, the investigator is to liaise with other departments to establish if the business was licensed, that they were apprehensive that if the respondents were released, they could interfere with the witnesses, some of whom are employees at the restaurant. Post orally by counsel representing the respondent, Mr. Nyango, on the ground that uh, this was drastic order being sought, that the respondent's fundamental rights will be violated that the respondents have not been charged to warrant detention for 21 days. The video generated public interest and there are two sides of the story. The father submitted that the investigating officer did not attach any documentary evidence to the application. The respondent is unconstitutional uh, and that the respondents are not a flight risk. So the court considered rounds of objections advanced. The court noted the case of Michael Rotich versus the Republic, where Justice Kimaru observed uh, that detention of a suspect without a charge erodes the gains made in the advancement of human rights and fundamental freedoms as provided for in the Bill of Rights in our progressive constitution. And to conclude the investigation pursuant to the 24-hour rule under the Constitution, Article 49 1 FI of the Constitution that demands that the respondents be brought before court within 24 hours of their arrest. Take a note of this decision of the High Court, which this court is bound by, and which is a guiding decision. The court has also taken note of the circumstances surrounding the present application, that the respondents are foreigners and they are a flight risk, and if released on bond or bail, they may abscond and therefore frustrate the investigation of this case. Interfere with the witnesses. The court noted that the respondents are foreign nationals, and therefore it's imperative that investigations be completed as there are several agencies to be contacted. The court has taken into consideration the grounds of objection by the defense and proceed to order that the police complete their investigations within a period of 15 days as the 21 days sought are rather too many in the circumstances that the police to present a holding charge as against the respondents to allow the respondents apply for bond bail as per the constitution to secure their freedom as the case proceeds. Uh, so you will have a mention on 4th of March. So 15 days are granted.